Hey everyone, welcome back. Round Geek here. So you might have seen a number of videos on the PC optimization telling you to change the number of processor or the maximum memory from the MS config to boost the performance. But the question is, does this really work? Are you really boosting the performance or creating some kind of limitation on the CPU core? So this is what I will be explaining in this video. So make sure the video will be short, do not skip any part and try to understand before making these kind of changes. So anyone can change the number of processor or the memory from the MS config. But changing this value will most likely cause the stability issues on your PC. Now before moving guys, you need to understand the difference between the logical and the physical cores. A CPU core is an actual core available inside of your processor that is used for the processor instructions whereas the logical core is a physical core divided using hyper threading and by doing so a single core can process multiple threads all right so now let's come back to the topic here should you enable all the processor in the ms config here so the answer is no because windows already uses all your core and uses them whenever necessary and once you change these number here you are telling windows to create a limitation on your core which may have the negative impact on the performance unless you are debugging the processor state so in simple word keep this option unchecked and never enable it now there will be many of you who will say that once you uncheck this box of number of processor it says only one and that probably means only one core will be utilized now it's just a myth guys as once the box is unchecked, you are not giving any instruction to MS config to limit the core. Makes sense, right? Similarly with the maximum memory, if you check this option and type any number here, you are instructing MS config to use this kind of RAM only. So basically or indirectly, I can say that you are creating some kind of limitation on your total available RAM. And result, what will happen? When you bring up the about section from the settings, you find that you have 16 GB of RAM or 8 GB of RAM, but not all the RAM has been utilized just because you have made the wrong selection here. You have instructed MS config to create some kind of limitation. So always make sure you never check this box of number of processor or the maximum memory because whatever CPU or RAM you are using, the maximum will be automatically utilized by Windows whenever it is being required. So hopefully guys, I cleared your doubt and if you really want to boost the PC performance, check my other latest videos on the complete guide of PC optimization that will be surely helping you to boost the performance. And if you found this information useful guys, also make sure you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.